I was terrified. Sailing in my two-man sloop, I had just deftly maneuvered past some rocks when they finally caught up to us. All right, they're close. They knew exactly what we had done and what vast fortune lay on our deck, the well-deserved fruits of our labor. And with every passing glance, their ship grew larger. Out the cannons! Their enormous galleon towered over us, so now outnumbered two to one, and with nowhere to run, we had no choice but to fight. But prior to this battle, quite the tale unfolded, so let's go back to the very start of this fateful day. Back to my awakening inside the dimly lit tavern at Plunder Outpost, just as dawn was breaking. Gib. Alright, hey! Now I'd loaded in on an open crew sloop. This meant that I would be sailing on a two-man vessel with a random person that the game matched me with. Hopefully my companion would be experienced. Oh, who's this fella? Hello? Uh, hello? Hello! A rather off-kilter yet focused sounding crewmate emerged from the ether. We ran outside and began discussing our objectives for the day. Okay, cool. We have a pumpkin child. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, I want to get some loot. Let's take a look at the map. What's going on? There's a reaper's chest on the map. A reaper's chest was visible on the map. This would likely be our first conquest. He sounds like he's cracked at Fortnite, my guy. Do you ever play Fortnite? Uh, yeah, I play Fortnite some, uh, sometimes. I'm pretty good. Ha! <laughs> I knew it! I knew oh, you it. want to do an emissary? Uh, yeah, let's do it. You want to do... Which one you want to do? Pirate Legend right now. I'm pretty close. Which one do you need? I'm um, 49 on Reapers, 46 on Gold Orders. Let's do Reapers. Let's do Reapers. Let's get that 50. Now, my companion was still working on reaching Pirate Legend status, so we were going to take on the Reaper's Bones emissary to get him the necessary level 50. All right, I'm going to get some resources, and then we can go. Okay, good. I purchased a few storage crates, and we finished stocking up the boat for our voyage. Provide the goods. I got some crates. I'd be out here, like, reaching out to the youths. This is how I reach the hearts of the children. How do I reach these kids? That was pretty pog. I'm gonna put on some skins. Let's see what this gamer decides. Okay. Okay. Alright. Oh, okay. Ooh. This guy's going demon mode right now. With some tactical skins applied, we raised anchor, hoisted the sail, and headed out to sea. We don't have wind to the west, but it shouldn't be too bad. Are these the tryhard cannons? Oh, these are, aren't they? Sailing towards the Reaper's chest in the ocean, we chatted a bit and I got a feel for my crewmate's experience. So you've been playing for a long time since you're almost pirate legend? Uh, I've been playing for like two, uh, like a couple, like, just right after Christmas about. That's a lot of gaming. Hopefully some people get on our server with emissaries so we can fight them. Yeah, sometimes it picks up. Do you know this move? This is probably the swaggiest move I know. What just happened? You grab the oh. ladder from the outside. Oh, it's, shoot. It's tough. Oh, that's crazy, bro. My man's just hitting you with a Dan. That's crazy. Actually, yeah. the fact that there's no events in the sky is kind of is kind of sus. I vented. Amogus. Now, the Reaper's chest was in a shipwreck. There would be a good amount of resources and other treasures here as well. Take a seat? What the? Yo, that's sick. Why are we still here? I leapt off our ship to prowl through the lower decks of the wreck for loot. Alright, well, I'll get some gems and stuff anyway. Coconut. An African swallow. We looted the shipwreck without too much trouble. Do you know where the Reaper's chest is? Yeah, it's in, it's like on the very back of the boat. Ooh. There's air here. Yoink! Oh, I got to it. With the Reaper's chest and everything else extracted from the remnants of this ship, we took off once more. Bruh. <laughs> now leaving the shipwreck, we had a far more treacherous target. We have wind there. The telltale ghostly cloud of Flameheart's armada loomed in the distance, so we set off towards it. There would be many ghost ships underneath it. And if we took on his armada and then triumphed, there would be an enormous loot hall that would be ours for the taking. But this was a mission far more easier said than done. Hello there. Uh-oh. Enemy spotted. I think we 
we have to go through this storm. There now seemed to perhaps be a bit of activity around this region. Ooh, uh, we got sloop pretty far north north. Ooh, you looking icy. A storm blew over us and we carried on through it. Yeah, stay on the wheel. Once out of the storm, we were nearly at our destination. Uh, do you want me to drive or you want a cannon? Which one? Uh, we can switch off. The long-winded Captain Flameheart began monologuing as his ethereal ships milled about below him. Wrap it up, kid. Sticking to the edge of the fleet, we engaged our first ghost ship. Now these basic ghost ships took three hits to destroy. We would need to sink a number of them before a wave of ghost captains ships spawned. After taking out a couple of captains and some more regular ghost ships, Flameheart's flagship, a very powerful and dangerous foe, would then appear. Oh! We just got hit by something. I got it. Preparing the capstan. Bruh. Anyway, so... After some swift repairs, we then switched roles and I hopped on the cannons as my friend steered. <laughs> now in a good rhythm, ships were falling left and right when the captains emerged. Oh yeah, yeah, yep, to our left. We get this one pretty easy, I think. That was huge. A major broadside. We were doing very well. We'll just get out of here real quick. I'll get a little closer to pick up sail. After extinguishing fires and making repairs, we scooped up some treasure and supplies that the captain's ship had dropped. This is like the perfect angle for killing these guys. Following the same strategy, the second captain's ship quickly fell. Nice. I grew more determined. With the sun rising, the sea had suddenly become eerily quiet. I think boss wave now, though. Yeah. The burning blade. Flameheart's flagship was here. Now to finish this. <laughs> uh, it'll be right side cannon. This is the main one. Yeah. So we can put a few holes in it if we want. Alright, we're just gonna do a full turn. <laughs> Yeah. The scream of a damaging wraith ball. We had to bail and repair. I'm on repairs. Ah, uh, we'll just finish the turn. Here. Might get big damage, but let's just see what we can get. If we can finish it here, I don't think we can, brother. I have you now. I'm trying. It's all good, all good, all good. Unearthly sounds wailed as the flagship faced through our sleep. It's low. Under heavy fire, I continued my barrage. I'll see if I can finish it real quick. Alright, I'm just gonna get on my own first. Okay. You probably need me. Uh... Yeah, I'm, we're looking at okay. Now intent on finishing this battle, I continued lobbing cannons at the flagship, hoping to end this. <laughs> We'd done it. Flameheart had fallen, and now a fortune of treasure lay floating in the waves. We sailed over to where the loot lay on the ocean surface and started harpooning it all up. We look good. We now had our own wraith balls, cannonballs that caused devastating damage upon impact. Nice. We could sell some until I'm... Reapers. Are we five? 15, and then we could try to sell some for gold orders. With a high-grade Reaper emissary, we were now gonna go to sell our treasure at the Reaper's hideout for a substantial payoff. Let's get to Reapers, and then we'll figure out what the move is. I'm really close to 50. Like, this Reaper's chest will definitely get me there. My young companion sounded quite excited about reaching level 50 with the Reaper's bones, and this treasure was gonna get him just that. 
Now, while figuring out our journey on the map, I made an alarming discovery. All right, so there is a, there's a level one Reaper's emissary. Keep us going hard southwest. A grade one Reaper was not too far from us, potentially a major issue. What kind of ship are they, can you see? There was no question. They were coming for us. Go do southwest. So they're gonna intercept us. Or try to, oh, at least. there's a galleon yeah. on our left. It's a galleon? Great. The other ship was a four-man galleon. This was about to get very interesting. Yep, coming they're coming for us. They're coming for us. Uh, let's yeah. make sure all our repairs are good. Make sure you got, like, the best food you can, too. So this is... I got... I'm pretty good. Alright, they're close. But they'll hear us, so... Okay. Yo, we can use, use the Wraith boss. Alright. The galleon was now swiftly bearing down on us. I could feel the cold stares of its ravenous crew. We were now gonna have to fight for everything we'd gotten thus far. I died, but the Wraith Ball's hit would force them to repair. I killed him, I killed him. Okay, we're anchored. Nice. They're coming in for another uh, attack. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna try to board them. Okay. Please, man. Hey, wait, one's in the water. What a catch. They were raining hellfire down on us. I killed one. But we were angled out of a broadside, saving us from what would have been catastrophic damage. How far are we from Reapers? So now the race was on. We had a lot of loot and we wanted to go sell at least the first part of it at the Reaper's hideout. We gotta stay on wind. We had a lead, but the wind was at our backs, so a galleon would be faster than a sloop. We would need to somehow slow them down if we were to beat them to the hideout. I can try to go anchor them. We can both go for it. Let's make sure we're on a good trajectory. Do southwest. Yep. They're turning. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go for Reapers. We hadn't succeeded in both trying to drop on them. They had been very careful about potential borders. Uh, they're hot on our tail. Yeah. We might need to go, so we need to go into the wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I now made sure that we had full speed while my crewmate tried to board them again. Yeah, they're gaining on us pretty fast here. You wanna get close? So this is the plan, we wanna get- Oh, they're Brig and them are fighting! An unrelated Brigantine had now entered the fray. This could be exactly what we needed. So get back to the boat. We should push it right now. Yeah, 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 let's go, let's go. Kidding me, dude! Please, man! After an unlucky hit on their hull, I'd been pushed away. That could have been huge. They were mic spamming at my friend. It seemed that this crew might be a bit ill man. We can bank off the, what the brig's doing. We can turn it on the gang right Yeah, now. yeah. Coming back right now. I'm getting on a bear soon. Uh, okay. good job. What do you want to do? Uh, I was thinking, well, we're gonna go up wind and then we're gonna figure it out. Because depending on the angle of the wind, we'll determine our options. Now, one of the only advantages had by sloops is that they are the fastest ship when going into the wind. Meaning that in a chase going upwind, we could slowly pull away. Let's go dagger River too. Building. If we get a one big anchor, we get almost everything sold, I think. We'll get you gold hoarders, and then we'll just hang on to the reapers and try to sell that at reapers. Yeah, because I'm 46 on gold hoarders, it's yeah. okay. We'll get you, we'll get you gold hoarders, hopefully. Now, we would be going into the wind towards Daggertooth Outpost, where we could potentially sell off some treasure, depending on the size of our lead. Yeah, let's sell the best stuff. We can do a pass by and drop off. That's what we're gonna do. We want. We could try one drop right now. It'll take a while, though. I was thinking that. Because they're going so slow. We All anchor right. them, we get so much time to sell. All right. Yeah. I'll go right this time. This was a bit of a gamble. If we anchored them, then we would get more time. But if we weren't back on our ship at the right moment, we could lose our window to sell. Hopefully we could thread this needle. I don't think we're quite at the island yet. I think we've, uh, if we anchor them here, we just hop off. Here we go! Nice I, try, Jamal. His crew was definitely a bit toxic. This only made me double down on my determination that they wouldn't get any of our treasure. When we get back, we're probably gonna be almost at the island, so let's uh, get ready. I hope we didn't pass it. 
Oh, we passed it. We passed it. Let's stay moving. You want to try to deck shot? Now back on the boat, I realized that we had just passed the island, likely ruining our chance to sell anything while sailing by. Passing close by the rocky beach, I went to use the harpoon to slingshot us past the island. Yeah, you want me to take something? Oh, no, I overturned! No, I overturned! Yeah, take something. I, I can do this. I completely and utterly can do this. I'm sorry, man. I I, I overturned. I, I overheard them. No, no, no. We got this. We got this. We got this. I'm off, I'm off. We'd escaped from the jaws of defeat. The other crew had anchored thinking that we would be easy prey. That could not have been any closer. I had nearly doomed us. They fumbled that bag, man. <laughs> we should honestly turn and try to uh, chain shot them. Now on the boat once more, I realized that it was upwind to the Reaper's hideout, and that we weren't far. This could be a major boon to us. Oh, actually, we have wind, al almost wind to Reapers, almost. Alright, I'm yeah. repairing. We're gonna do a pass by of Reapers, and we beat them to Reapers big time, unless the wind shifts a lot. Yeah, we can sell the Reaper's chest. Yeah, let's do that. As we could see on the map, this was now a crawling chase across open ocean, but we would be slowly gaining a lead on them into the wind. We're gonna go to the dock, we're gonna take one thing each, we're gonna pass the island really close. Oh, we got a big, uh, pretty decent lead, so... Yeah, the wind's been doing us a lot of favors. Alright, I'm gonna get us, we're gonna, we're gonna pass right by this dock. Are you ready? You go. Now on a very close pass with the hideout, we both leapt off holding two of our most valuable treasures. Oh yeah. yeah, let's look at the trajectory of the boat real quick. Let's catch a mermaid, we'll just turn around, let's see if we can do it again. Uh, I'm gonna get the boat moving back. I'm Reaper's 50. Hold on, I'm, I'm- That got you there? I'm- I'm boarding them. Okay. My friend had hit level 50 for the Reaper's bones. That objective had been fulfilled, but this was personal. I wasn't gonna let this pursuing crew get any of the large amount of remaining spoils. Are they anchored? Uh, no. Nah. They were waiting for me. We turned back around to pass by the island again, but the galleon was there. A storm was blowing in as well, which would make another landing potentially dangerous. So keeping our lead, we decided to push south to Plunder Outpost. We got the Reapers in. You got Reapers 50. Let's see if we can get to Plunder. But they're gonna catch up really fast with, um, Sidewind. As we pull up, we'll both lift up sails, and then we'll try to sell as much as we can. Oh, wind's helping us. This is big wind. Oh, this is- yeah, this is big. All right, start lifting that sail. We were gonna park by the beach and sell as fast as we could. Our narrow window of time to sell was now ticking. Let's just anchor. Help me get this anchor up. Leaping between the boat and the shore, we sold off numerous chests each. We haven't got much time. Picking up speed, I realized that this was another escape, perhaps too close for comfort. Sold a substantial chunk of our treasure, but still had a lot left. These guys really want our booty. We skirted a storm as we rotated around, plotting our next moves. If we could anchor them or do some naval damage here, we might be able to have time to sell the remaining loot. But outnumbered two to one at all times, we needed the right opportunity. I'm trying to board. I mean, it must have been the wind. It must have been nothing. We can go for it again. Oh! Oh no. After a love tap on an ocean rock, we stabilized but had lost our lead. In the most gentle rock collision ever. I'm going. Okay. We dropped on them again in a straightaway. This might end up being time quite well. I want that. Yeah, you can get it. Yeah, you can get it. 
sake. I'm dead, I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah, you're Bro, dead. you're talking shit! You're in a galleon, dude! Pull it together! Goodbye. Who these guys. If we could pull off a win here, it would be oh so satisfying. We're gonna die because I'm only going with bananas because we have no other food. Back on the ship, supplies were now low, and the situation was further complicated by rough stormy seas. Storm clouds were brewing. We circled around each other over the night, making no progress. As dawn broke, we were getting out of the storm and began considering how we could finish this once and for all. Did they beat me into this? I'm gonna do another close pass. Uh, actually, the wind shifted for them this time. Now approaching Plunder Outpost for a second time, we decided to drop on them again. If you raid ball them and then like just cannon them, I can try to board them. Let's get one right now, real quick. Both right, go right now. These guys are. I've never. I'm dead. Same. No luck. They were ladder guarding. Yeah, I'm trying to take these guys down. Ah, bro, we literally just missed it. Oh. Rotating around the island, we decided to see if we could now get aggressive and put some holes into them. No, 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 anchor. Uh, shoot, shoot. Yeah, shoot cannons. We were on a perfectly angled turn that dodged their potential four cannon broadside, and my crewmate was hammering their masts with chain shots. Well, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Nice job. Let's do this. One's dead! A number of them were dead, but others were unaccounted for. A little lower. I don't have fire bombs. Nice, beautiful, right there. <laughs> lowers, get lowers! My friend needed to make lower deck holes for them to start taking water. This window of time we had was critical. Lower deck, shoot it, lower deck! Sorry, one's right aboard. Gotcha. I killed him. I killed him. I killed okay. him. Okay. Another one dead. The crew was in disarray, and I was out for blood. The water was mid deck, and I was guarding this with my life. We were so close. They sank, bro. My eardrums, my eardrums, they're gone. <laughs> they sank, bro. Let's go, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, dude, I got a little angry, man. Oh I had god, to let him know. Hilarious. I'd made a bit of an outburst. That had been very satisfying. And after all their snarky comments, their ship was the one slipping below the waves. Let's go. With the threat neutralized, we now sailed to the nearby dock of Plunder Outpost to sell the remaining loot. That was fun, bro. Holy. Yeah, that was lit. Job, Finally able to catch our breath, we sold off our treasure and discussed everything that had just unfolded. Man, dude, that got my adrenaline going, bro. Yeah, same here, bro. That was insane. A toxic crew of a galleon talking shit, and and then that happens. They had to come before him. Cause I'm a island boy. I still had two skulls left. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Did you see how, like, once I was on the lower deck, being like, get lowers, get lowers, they weren't saying a goddamn thing. Not a word. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Not a peep. With everything except our enemies and our flag sold, we next took off towards Reaper's Hideout, where we could sell both of these things for a considerable amount of gold. Almost caught the pumpkin pirate. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> you 
you mind? I'm sailing here! So there I was. The skeleton ship had just appeared. Sailing across the open sea, we now got our respective pets out. I am flabbergasted that we pulled that off. What galleon? Oh, you mean the one at the bottom of the ocean? That galleon! Filled with rapscallions! Pumpkin pal. Who's just my monkey? He's got a pirate. He's a pirate cat. Just anchor us. Your monkey's looking troubled. I'll let you do the honors here. Yeah, let's get these in. Let's go. Nice. With our enemy's flag sold and our flag lowered, we had done it. We triumphed over a galleon outnumbered two to one and made off with all the loot. Oh Lord, have mercy. <laughs> I knew that this was one adventure that I, and likely my new friend here as well, would never forget. Well, oh, they're both jamming! What a lovely gamer moment. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and a comment. It helps me out a lot. Also, I'm live streaming right now, so come say hello. The link is below in the description. And go follow me on my Instagram and my thumbnail artist too. This has been your friend Wellen at the conclusion of a thrilling tale of swashbuckling hijinks. I'll see you next time.